You've been doxxed. You've been threatened. You've been harassed by Tucker Carlson just for calling out online harassment. They'll, they'll threaten children. They'll threaten my parents. I've had to remove every single social tie. I had severe PTSD from this. I, I contemplated suicide. It got really bad. You feel like any little piece of information that gets out on you will be used by the worst people on the internet to destroy your life. And it's... I bring a message from Her Majesty Taylor Lorenz. Freedom to any man who identifies the slave known as Libs of TikTok. I'm Libs of TikTok. No, I'm Libs of TikTok. I'm Libs of TikTok. I'm Libs of TikTok. Oh, I'm Libs of TikTok. I'm Libs of TikTok. That's right. I am, in fact, the person running Libs of TikTok. And if you use Twitter, make sure that you also finally admit that you are the person running Libs of TikTok. Because 49-year-old woman Taylor Lorenz, who spends her days trying to garner the favor of young children who are popular on TikTok and tearing down other women while simultaneously crying on mainstream media about how people say mean things to her on the internet, she wants to know who you are. She wants to know who Libs of TikTok is. And in fact, this morning, not only did 51-year-old urinalist Taylor Lorenz dox the private business address of the creator and runner of Libs of TikTok, but 52-year-old Taylor Lorenz also listed their full name, a name that has not been public. Then 54-year-old Taylor Lorenz also was caught going to the homes of the family of the creator of Libs of TikTok. I will show you evidence for all of this. Before we get into that, no sponsor, just a quick ask that you leave a like on this video, you consider sharing it, and if you haven't yet, please do subscribe down below. There's another weird purge going on on YouTube, and I could definitely use your help. Now, first, I want to show you uh, just some of the greatest hypocrisy the internet may have ever seen. Here we have Taylor Lorenz, 57-year-old, ever-growing, uh, receding hairline, Taylor Lorenz, showing up at the home wearing an N95 mask outside because you got to have that showing up at the home of a family member of the person she docks this morning. See, Taylor Lorenz cannot stand successful women. Part of her whole gig is, is tearing down successful women. Many people posting out this post, Putting out this post from just two weeks ago where Taylor Lorenz wrote, 57-year-old Taylor Lorenz wrote, I know you're joking, but doxing, stalking, trying to hurt and smear people's loved ones, threatening them, it's not okay in any situation. People on here who constantly stoke these polit politicized outrage campaigns want to dismiss it, but it shouldn't be dismissed. He has very real consequences. Really, 59-year-old Taylor Lorenz. You're talking about, I would think, doxing, which you've done, which I will show that you've done without showing the address. I would think stalking probably would fit in the, uh, in the category of uh, 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 showing up at family members' homes. Some other response. Here's Mark J. Randazza sharing, Lorenz claims that she was justified in doxing uh, the person's children, this is somebody else that she docks, because, quote, none of the girls have spoken out or denounced their mom's views. This is after, this was reported by Cassandra McDonald. Cry bully activist journal, 61-year-old Taylor Lorenz, doxes lives of TikTok creator, goes to the family members. This is not the first time, by the way, that 63-year-old Taylor Lorenz has spent time doxing and harassing other women. Glenn Greenwald writing, 
65-year-old Taylor Lorenz is about to expose the private citizen behind some anonymous account on Twitter, and when people criticize her for it, she and her friends will claim that 66-year-old Taylor is the real victim TM. And anyone criticizing this type of journalism will be found guilty of causing her trauma. This is an e email she send, sent to friend of the channel, Christina Prashaw. I'm a tech reporter at the Washington Post. We are running a story exposing the woman behind libs of TikTok account. Our story mentions your many interactions on the account and praise of it. I'd like to offer you a chance to comment on it. Thank you, 66-year-old Taylor Lorenz. This is also the same person that during an interview, 67-year-old Taylor Lorenz sobbed uncontrollably as she claimed that she had uh, thoughts of self-harm due to her severe PTSD. I've had to remove every single social tie. I've had severe PTSD from this. I contemplated self-deletion. It got really bad, said 76-year-old Taylor Lorenz. You feel like any little piece of information that gets out on you will be used by the worst people on the internet to destroy your life. I don't even, I don't even understand how somebody could be this insanely hypocritical and exist without collapsing in upon themselves. Of course, it was then reported by Jack Posobiec and many others that she showed up at the homes. I mean, could you imagine the, the, the audacity, the unmitigated gall? If this woman showed up at my parents' house, like, it would, Lord help her. She shows up at my parents' house with her iPhone in hand asking them about their evil son. That's a long driveway. For a 76-year-old woman, Taylor Lorenz, that's a long driveway with a lot of trees. But the 80-year-old Taylor Lorenz feels completely justified in doing this. Why? Because the libs of TikTok account on Twitter posts unedited, undoctored uh, videos of psychopaths from the left. This is the very same thing they did they do this every time there's a popular channel that appeals to the to the right on Twitter. They find a way to remove them. Uh, when when the, we had basically Trump's personal meme maker uh, a couple of years ago get banned off Twitter for dubious reasons, have their life turned in upheaval. But Glenn, Glenn Greenwald writes, journalism isn't about just exposing things for the sake of it. It's about exposing matters in the public interest about powerful institutions, CIA, CIA, NSA, Wall Street, oligarchs, politicians. Using Jeff Bezos' money to expose private citizens for having bad politics is gross. One last attempt to clarify the rules. Is it okay for people to show up at Taylor's house and the homes of her relatives to ask questions about her? I have a feeling that wouldn't be applauded, even though even though the 87-year-old Taylor, unlike Twitter, used a uh, Twitter user she, quote, exposed as a public figure. Lorenz claimed that she was justified in doxing children because none of them had spoken out against their own mother. I mean, this is absolutely insane. And the people who are amplifying this and pretending like, well, it's not a hard dox. It's not really doxing. They listed 92-year-old Taylor Lorenz listed in her original article a hyperlink to this woman's private business address. Okay? It is my opinion that 93-year-old Taylor Lorenz Put that address out there just long enough for bad actors. Did you know that the super soldiers have, have threatened the life of the Libs of TikTok account multiple times? 95-year-old Taylor Lorenz was fine putting out that address just long enough after they made a change and redacted it. They were fine publishing it in the first place. This is what you call plausible deniability, my friends.
How about Libs of TikTok's official Twitter account posting this video of a uh, 106 year old Taylor Lorenz? And online online harassment is such a is such a it's such a misnomer. Um, I think it's a huge problem because um, you know harassment is is a is is a, it's a tool to silence people, especially hmm. women and people of color. Especially women. You know, the most often the targets of your hit pieces, there was absolutely no journalistic reason. Look, I have no problem with an article like profiling the libs of TikTok Twitter account. There was no journalistic reason for 115-year-old Taylor Lorenz to include the personal name of the person who runs it. None. There was no just additional journalistic value for that. There was no additional journalistic value for 126-year-old Taylor Lorenz to continue by going to the homes of the creator. Donald Trump Jr. tweeting, wasn't this psycho on TV two weeks ago actually crying about this exact type of behavior? This seems to be her exact business model. If she tried to report on real bad actors rather than random personalities on social, uh, if only she did, but we know that wouldn't happen. Yeah, that's absolutely 100% correct. And here's one of the one of the best things. Now, I have, I have a genuine, my opinion is that the libs of TikTok account will likely be removed today or tomorrow. But if it doesn't, this will have spectacularly backfired for 145-year-old Taylor Lorenz as her article is getting ruthlessly ratioed on Twitter. She has disabled replies to it. The last time I saw it, it had something like 3,000 replies to 2,000 likes or something like that. And look what 145-year-old Taylor Lorenz has done for libs of TikTok. As of right now, okay, this is an account that gains eh, about 2,000 followers a day, right? Dear libs of TikTok, please, I've got a message for you at the end of this video. But also, you can see at 11,000, it's the biggest day it's had in like a very long time. But look at the live count. It's at 645, 195. Let's see what it's at right now. It just gained another 50,000 followers. 42,000 more plus the 11,000. This is a massive backfire for, for 174 year old Taylor Lorenz. And libs of TikTok, please, 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 I know you play an important role on Twitter, but please take time to create alt tech accounts and repost all your stuff everywhere. Gab, Getter, uh, True Social, Minds, BitChute, Odyssey, YouTube, Rumble. You are a very important account, and I appreciate what you do.